mechanism of breathing. Respiration occurs in two stages. One, inspiration, during which atmospheric air is drawn in. And two, expiration, in which the alveolar air is released out. The movement of air into and out of the lungs is carried out by creating a pressure gradient between the lungs and the atmosphere. When the air pressure within the alveolar spaces falls below atmospheric pressure, air enters the lungs resulting in inspiration. That is, there is a negative pressure in the lungs with respect to atmospheric pressure, provided the larynx is open. Similarly, expiration takes place when the air pressure within the alveoli exceeds atmospheric pressure. Air is blown from the lungs. The flow of air is rapid or slow in proportion to the magnitude of the pressure difference because atmospheric pressure remains relatively constant. Flow is determined by how much above or below atmospheric pressure the pressure within the lungs rises or falls. Alveolar fluctuations are caused by expansion and contraction of lungs resulting from tensing and relaxing of the muscles. Inspiration is initiated by the contraction of diaphragm which increases the volume of thoracic chamber in the antero posterior axis in the contraction of external intercostals muscles lifts up the ribs and sternum causing an increase in the volume of thoracic chamber in the dorsoventral axis. The overall increase in the thoracic volume causes a similar increase in pulmonary volume. An increase in pulmonary volume decreases intrapulmonary pressure which is less than atmospheric pressure which forces the air from outside to move into the lungs, that is, inspiration. Relaxation of the diaphragm and intercostal muscles returns the diaphragm and sternum to their normal positions and reduce the thoracic volume and thereby the pulmonary volume. This leads to an increase in intrapulmonary pressure to slightly above the atmospheric pressure causing the expulsion of air from the lungs, that is, expiration. On an average, a healthy human breathes 12 to 16 times per minute. The volume of air involved in breathing movement can be estimated by using a spirometer which helps in clinical assessment of pulmonary functions. In man, diaphragm plays a major role in respiration, while in woman, the ribs play a major role. Rate of respiration in human beings changes with age. The rate of respiration also changes during emotional disturbances, exercises and other activities. Rate of respiration in different age groups of human beings. 1. Newborn child, 32 times per minute. 2. Children up to the age of 5 years, 26 times per minute. 3. Man of 25 years, 15 times per minute. 4. Man of 50 years, 18 times per minute. Respiratory volume. Respiratory volume is an important aspect of pulmonary function testing because they can provide information about the physical conditions of the lung as well as disease state.